Hey guys, Tina here, the Critical Virgo. Welcome back to another Fragrance Fridays. So today I have a flanker to talk about. It's by YSL. It's from the Black Opium line. And this one is Illicit Green. I don't do a lot of YSL Black Opium. It's not like one of the things that I really dug my heels into like I do with the Good Girl line. But I had a little bit of a coupon going on and there was some Black Friday specials and I was shopping around for everybody else at Christmas and I decided to treat myself to a blind buy. Never smelled it. And I have a little story to tell you. But before I get into that, I'm going to give you guys the notes on both the original and the flanker and then I'll get into it. So we'll go with the original first. For the original Black Opium, the top on this we have pear, pink pepper, and orange blossom. For the mid, we have coffee, jasmine, bitter almond, and licorice. And then for the base, we have vanilla, patchouli, cashmere wood, and cedar. Now I'm going to get into illicit green. For this one, we have a top of paracord, green mandarin, and fig leaf. For the mid, we have orange blossom, fig accord again, and then this Jasmine Grandiflorium Super Infusion. It's like this YSL exclusive. And then for the base, we have coffee, patchouli, and then a vanilla bourbon infusion that's supposedly exclusive to them. So in the typical fashion, I like to pick some words to describe this, and then I'm gonna get into my story. So <laughs> I would describe this as very familiar and similar. It's like a thief in the night. And, you know, they say that imitation is the highest form of flattery. Well, something really crazy happens when there's like an internal cloning process and a few chromosomes just get a little mixed up and things don't work as they should. And so it was a flanker of the original YSL. Black Opium was born and they called it Illicit Green. <laughs> And it stood apart from the original in the opening. And I know what I'm about to say is totally going to contradict itself, but just like bear with me for a minute over here, okay? You see, it wasn't very obvious at first. And in all honesty, the DNA of Alyssa Green is so thick and similar to the original that it's easy to miss the fig and the pear. I got so distracted looking for this citrus, this green mandarin because let's be honest it was another sexy element and who isn't distracted by those things and i didn't feel the punch on the first spritz because the story it plays very fast the fade it just happened so fast when i re-watched the tape with another spritz on the second day after you know the trauma passed i realized you get that green fig leaf with pear in the opening. It really punches you in the face and I totally missed it because guess what? It happened so fast and it just ran away so fast. So don't be scared. The fig and the pear are like the robbers in this story and the green mandarin, it's really the decoy. It's that distraction that gets you looking for something else. So you miss the stars of the show. And I say that you miss the stars of the show because it's like a green pear and a green fig leaf. And that's how we got the illicit green name. And if you look up the definition of illicit, you'll understand what I'm about to say. But the stars of the show, they just faded away. And you don't really know the role that they played until you respray and rewatch the tape. The name of this fragrance is very appropriate. The green being illicit, not lawful. It's very fast fading as it runs away like a thief in the night. <laughs> Within a matter of minutes and poof, it's just gone. So I'm finding myself back to something very familiar once the green is gone. I'm back to the fragrance that this was inspired by. The green is not the only thing that disappears and leaves you wondering what really happened. <laughs> so while I can literally get a full day's wear out of the original, the thief in the night escapes my nose within a matter of hours. 
the fade happens slow, but then like quick. Just like when a robber gets away from the police in pursuit. I'm not mad at it though, because we had a good time together. So that's the end of my story and I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to make it as fun and entertaining as possible. So let's get into some basics. The projection on this. It's enormous when you first spray it on. And then like, like I said earlier, just it's a skin scent within a matter of minutes. It's like, what happened there? Um, longevity. I mean, I don't know if you actually listened to my story, but if you don't know what I'm about to say to that, then just go back up. Pricing on this. So if you want to buy this full retail, you know, I always say support, support, but one ounce of this is $95. The two and a half ounce is 138, but, but I'm thinking that a lot of people have some buyer's remorse and had a very similar experience. So it's very easy to find some discounted bottles of this one online as uh, people are just reselling this after their illicit encounter. So I'm blind buying. I blind bought this because I had a little deal and I was just like treating myself. Um, if you have the original, I say just stick with that. They're so similar and at least that one stays with me for a whole day, whereas this one just, you know, you know. There's really nothing offensive about this fragrance if you like the original. Um, there's really just nothing spectacular about it either. And as far as versatility goes, well, if you're looking for something like a quick little coffee get together date, then this would be perfect because it doesn't like hang around for a long time. And it's good for those situations where you just don't want a fragrance to linger on your skin. Like if you're going to put it on really late at night and you're going to bed within a few hours and you don't want that fragrance to keep you up at night. Perfect for that. It doesn't project much um, once it dries down skin scent. So it's kind of like when you're lonely and you want to hang out with somebody for a short time but you really just don't want them to linger around in your house all evening this is that situation if you want to hang out with somebody all day pick the original short stay illicit green i live in south florida and i try this both inside and outside and the heat made it project really well but then it like ate it up and it faded away and it didn't really hold up that well in an air conditioned room either. So that was kind of disappointing. So I really doubt it would do well someplace really cold. And before somebody wants to chime in and tell me that my hydration's off, it's not. The original lasts on me all day. In fact, I put this on yesterday and I can still smell it on my skin today. That's so I'm hydrated, okay? Would I buy this again? Um, if you're into long-term commitments, and you want a fragrance to last longer than a one night stand, I say no. But if you got commitment issues and you're just looking for a quick good time, I say go for it. I say go for it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any questions, comments, you know where to put them. Till next Fragrance Friday, whenever that'll be. Bye guys.